Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Oh yeah! Mmm! Three on one, let's go! Let's go! I got stuck in a rock. I got stuck in a rock and couldn't attack. That's that doesn't count. Yes. Ooh, that life total. Yes. Mmm. And the... The enjoyment you get from defeating the monsters, right? If you don't know how the game works, 
and then you play it for a while, and then you're like, damn, this is actually tough. And eventually, you, you figure out the puzzle, and if you can do what I can do, it's gonna feel a heck of a lot more different. Um... go there we go okay all right now Now that I've got this... Now it's time. This is the time. To cut through. Cut through. And... Well, actually, no. Be, be, I need to get. I need to get strength first. I need to get um, a few points of strength before I go there. Right? Yes. Mm, do I? You know what? I'll get. I'll get the thing first. I'll get it first, and then, and then I'll come back. And get the strength. It's kind of. It, you know what? If I don't remember it right, it's okay. It's okay if I don't remember it right. Um. But I think I do, and this is this is the memory test. This is the memory test uh, regarding. Nope. Regarding what I what I remember about the game and how it works, and if I make a if I made a small mistake, then I made a small mistake, and it's relatively easy to correct. But I think I'm right. Then I will I will fix that mistake um, during during the next possible attempt that I do before the release of the remake. <laughs> All right, Diego, my man. Diego, my friend. You are strapped. Take care. I think that's right. I think that is right.
Hey, you. Rely on somebody in your That's how it You're hunting. hunting. <laughs> Here you are. Take a beer and tell me about hunting. Scavengers. That's what we call the big birds. Should be attacked one after the other. It's easy to lure single scavengers from the pack. If you come too close, they'll become irritated. After a while, they'll storm in your direction. At this point, you should be waiting for them with a raised weapon. If you manage to strike the beast before it hits you, you have to keep fighting. Then you'll be able to defeat the creature without being hurt yourself. If it hits you first, well, just don't let him. What else can you tell me about hunting? A lot, but it'll cost you more than a beer. If you know how, you can take the creature's teeth, claws, and skin. It's hard to get them, but they are valuable. At least every merchant will trade those things with you. What do I have to observe while skinning reptiles? The only reptiles suited for this purpose are lurkers and swamp sharks. If you slit the skin at the sides, it'll peel off by itself. From now on, you should be able to skin reptiles. Show me how to take off the claws. Actually, it's quite simple if you know what to do. Bend the claws forward, never backwards. And you mustn't pull them out either. Claws can be taken, especially from lizards. From now on, you'll know which creature's claws to take. How can I skin these creatures? It's very important to skin them from the back to the front. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be easy. Furs are very valuable. The furs of wolves and shadow beasts can be used to make clothes. When you examine the fur of a killed animal, you'll soon notice if it can be used or not. How do I get the teeth? The most important thing is to make sure the teeth don't splinter. To avoid that, put your knife near the center of the tooth and lever it out carefully. You can take the teeth of wolves, shadow beasts, and snappers. You're demanding a lot for your advice. Possibly, but you can earn a lot of ore with this knowledge. All the animals you kill without knowing how to cut them up will just rot away. That's a wasted opportunity of skinning them and selling the fur at a high price. If I were you, I'd try to gain this knowledge as soon as possible. And so we have. And so we have. All right. Step one, done. Step two. Now we cut through. Now we cut through and get the power. The only question for me here is, do I remember the numbers right? Um, and even if it's not, I'll, I'll fix it relatively easily, but uh, yeah.
What are you doing? little little nooks and crannies that you only know by experience give you little edges of advantage that ultimately cultivate into a victory and a smooth playthrough that makes you feel like a god. Which is what the essence of any empowering fantasy is. Oh, come on, I did uh, by a second, I bloody missed the hit. Not even a second. There we go. Like a fraction of a second. We're gonna live off of raw meat like a real man. Why would you wanna fry it? You just eat it raw like a boss. Alright. Do I remember it correctly? Let's see. And it is my theory, it's not a fact, it's a theory, that the developers of the game, whoops, don't, ah, oh, he noticed me, god damn it, it's okay, it's okay, um, I'll just loop our, that that bloody beast it's it's tough little rascals um well they're not they're not little they're freaking huge um one needs to well you'll see i don't need to explain it you'll see it's there are several ways to approach this and this is the first time i'm doing this it's the first time I'm doing this, so there will be mistakes, and I'm learning uh, as I'm going through this. Um, I 
I haven't memorized the distance. that it is safe to to be at away from the beast Yeah, I thought so. You go ahead and... You go ahead and be on the shore. No need to eat me. Mortal danger. And that life bar, right? That was one hit from that beast. It's one of the um, appeals of this game and what I talked about when it comes down to the sense of empowerment and the joy of beating the challenge when you face an enemy that seems insurmountable, that seems unbeatable, and then you learn, you practice, and then you see the solution to that puzzle through experience, through learning, through trial and error and many failures, you become successful in what you're doing because you know what you're doing you understand what you're doing and there it is 36 i was right okay this right here this is test i have not done this i want to see how many hits does it take It takes two hits. It takes two hits to get him. Okay. Two hits is doable. So let's see. Are they... Are they gonna attack me in a pack or one by one? Okay, it is one by one attack. And he approaches me slowly. Which means I probably have enough time to startle him, attack him, and not get hurt. Also, he does not one-shot me, or it. It does not one-shot me, it, it two-shots me, which means I have time to make a mistake. I have time to make a mistake. And then correct it and not die. This difference between um, being one shot and being two shot. This is often the difference between failure and success. Right. Yes, it's actually working. Okay. 
All right. I thought I had a different weapon that was my favorite in the game, but no, this this old battle axe is the is the gateway to just I'm going to get so much endorphins in my brain cuz I have never in all my years have done a playthrough using this path because I realized that it exists yesterday I as in it's possible it is possible that I thought about it in the past but I was never I never gave it too much thought and time um, to whoops I never gave it too much thought and time to or enough thought and time to basically evaluate and see the possibility of how cool that would be when one plays a game and sees that hmm, opportunity and then makes it work Man. there it is there it is okay um which way would be I'm trying to pick a direction here. Mm. I think, actually, I'm gonna clean. Hang on, I, I gotta pick. Do I go this way or the opposite? I'm just figuring out the area, which one would be better. Um, so if I clean that up, Actually, I still I still need to test it, right? I'm still testing the the efficiency and checking. Am I one shotting? Am I two shotting? Uh, I think that. So what is it now? Thirty six. It should be one. It should be one. And I have the, yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm, it works. I was right. Mm. Hell yeah. Yeah. 
give me them points. No skill, no problem. Yes. Absolutely and utterly yes. I think that this battle axe was placed in that location on the map by the developers way back when specifically for speedrunners specifically for speedrunners and this mechanic not mechanic but this tactic in the games um in which basically the developers reward players for knowing the game understanding the game and they're leaving um they're leaving little prizes so to speak to where a player becomes very powerful and gets the sense of power as a result of completing the game and knowing the mechanics of the game well. This is the correct game design this is the game design that I absolutely love and the game design that should be utilized always by people that make um, but by people that make games make the game tough and challenging at the very start make it so that a player needs to figure out the puzzles uh, and stumbles and falls and has bruises to heal, lessons to learn and then after after understanding the mistakes the player is rewarded by having the opportunity to play better because you're you're going to make different decisions you're going to choose a different path inside of the game here we are down there lies the camp of the Brotherhood. Go through the gate and speak to my brothers. I'm sure you haven't come here for nothing. Ask for Kor Kalam. He's in charge of the Algo. So this uh, individual, Baal Paris, 
this NPC leads you to the camp. If you choose to have this NPC accompany you, this is the training wheels. Uh, and this is when I first started playing the game and I didn't know how it works. Uh, and I just explored the world and got completely and utterly immersed in the lore about the characters, about the setting, about uh, where I'm at, and fell in love with it. Um, I was struggling with... Progressing through the mobs. I was struggling with beating the fights. The blood flies would um, wreck me at, at the start. In fact, when I started playing the game during the first playthrough, I could not beat the scavenger easily. A scavenger would... Uh, two out of three times, a scavenger would beat me. And... I would struggle. But then... Eventually, as I naturally played through and used the training wheels or NPCs to help me out, I discovered the game mechanics. And as I discovered them, I felt that empowerment and fell in love with the world of Gothic more and more. And that's why I've played for every faction for every camp explored explored the world and I'm like wow you can you can do this in so many ways and the experience is going to be unique every time depending on um where is it? Oh, it's... The experience is going to be unique every time. De depending on what you choose. And what I'm doing now, subjectively, is an optimal starting route. Come on, then. Oh. 
Yes. And it's I really I really think that the developers just left it, it's it's amazing how all it takes to alter the player's experience from wondering what to do and how to beat the game to I am a literal god and a force to be reckoned with by simply placing an item at the right location at the location that takes time to find, experience to find, and you can only get to if you've played through the game. I shouldn't say if you can only get to if you played through the game. If you can, like, you know that it exists because you've played through the story. This is brilliant design. Okay. This right here might hurt a lot. Oh, crikey. Yeah, fire lizards. Uh, was it, wait, wait. Was it two shot or, or three shot? Two shot or three shot? Okay, one at a time. One at a time. One at a time. One, two, three, four. Ah! Yeah, it's kind of... Well, it, it can be done in multiple... Let, let's see, is it two shot or three shot? Four shot. Four shot. I am not ready for this. I am not ready to face the fire lizards. Um, well, okay. I shouldn't say I'm not ready. You know what? Why don't I do this for the challenge, right? Because all you, if it's four shot, I need to not get hit. I just need to not get hit. And hit the lizard four times. It's gonna be tough, and I will fail a few times. Mm. Okay, so that's not the combination. I need. I. Th this is actually one of the puzzles, right? You have extremely dangerous enemy that will kill you in one hit, and. In order to beat that enemy, you need to you need to perform a correct sequence of actions. Got it. Got it. Yes. And what do you get rewarded with? A mountain of experience. An absolute mountain of experience relative to... Well, yeah. Ah. Uh, re relative to, like, this time in the game.
It works. It works. Yes. Oh, wow, that, that was, that was close for crying out loud. It just kind of, it curled at me, and then all of a sudden, it's like, I'm gonna attack you without warning. <laughs> Come on. Uh, okay, let's walk around it. Let's walk around it. And... Oh, I, I can't walk around this way. Uh, around the ship? Around the ship? Yeah. Come on. One, two, three. Ah, it, it hit me. But I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. One, two, three, four. Mm. Okay, okay, so they're, they're jumping around if you hit one of them. So I wonder if I just charge. One, two. Yeah, no, no, no. That, that that approach does not work. They have to attack you from a particular angle, and and if if both of them attack you at the same time, you're you can't live, really. One, two. Three. Yeah. Uh, okay. You know I'm being greedy. This is wrong. I'm being greedy. one at a time. How do you eat an elephant? One piece at a time. It's a known. It's a known wisdom. And I'm gonna eat an elephant one piece at a time. One piece at a time, baby. Yes. Yes. What level am I at? Six. Level six, baby. <laughs>